it seems to go on and on and obviously we don't know the end date and it, it, it's been a while now but these things do change and it will come to an end at some point. It's been a roller coaster of emotions, hasn't it? A huge achievement for people who've been shielding. Does it help marking time like this or does it add to a, our anxiety? So I think in answer to your question, it depends on the individual uh, and some people will thrive in this environment and some will just, just barely survive given the conditions. Now you help people struggling with their mental health. What are your key messages? particularly for people who might be worried about their jobs or paying, paying their bills? One is to be able to listen to somebody's needs non-judgmentally, to not take sides, not to appear as if you know more than them or give them a value judgment. And the other part of that equation really is for me is to if somebody wants to talk to you, you've got to give them that security that they can do that and really be vulnerable in a nice way. For those of us struggling perhaps with motivating their children, homeschooling or getting in the mouth their screens, how do you help with that? Have a little less expectation and a little more reward at the moment because, you know, it is strange times and so a bit less will give you probably more in the long term and be creative. So it's about lowering your expectations, which is tough when you might have high expectations or, or you want, you know, to keep things going. Uh, for people who just simply can't do that, what one thing would you say to them? There's some things we've got to do as basics. So some of the basics to preserve our mental health is, is diet, exercise, sleep, and as I said before, being connected. The other thing to do is really, you know, try and reach out to other people um, to be a support or to get the support back again. And what do you say to people who say, when is this going to end? Well, another thing I often use is that concentrate on the things we can change rather than things we can't. Don't think, oh, when's it going to finish and I can just get on my life. How about stepping into it with a new gusto, a new passion, if you can? Some people, it's difficult. But for a majority of us, maybe we can step into that with, with, more, with more vigour. OK, well, Ross McWilliam, let's talk again in another 100 days. Thank you. Thank you.